Kaiser here, and today I am finally back with a new custom video, which is Cyborg from Teen Titans. Now, it is still February, and as most of you know it, it is most famous for being the love, the month of love and Valentine's Day and all that. But for me, I've always been more interested in Black History Month whenever it rolls around. Mostly learning about all these African American people who, to me, are very fun to learn about. That's kind of the only thing that I like learning about in school. And so I thought, hey, why not show my love for Black History Month than by making a black character? And I know that there are some that, sorry, there are a few other black characters that I could have made like Black Panther or Luke Cage or um, Black Lightning but um, I decided to make Cyborg from Teen Titans because he's probably one of my favorite next to someone like Black Panther so yeah um, the base figure is actually made from a Cyborg figure from DC Universe Classics and the reason I chose that one was because out of all the cyborgs I've seen, it's probably the most articulated. I'm, I'm not sure how to put it, but um, I wanted one that could look like well with my other DC figures. And when I tried looking for what I could buy, um, none of them fit. Mostly because for some of these um, other, yeah, for some of these other cyborg designs, like. The one Justice League, the one you usually see in something like Injustice. I do like them, but there was always something about the Teen Titans version that I always like more. It's It might be like the blue coloring he has, because that was probably like the best version, like the best design for Cyborg, in my opinion. So that's the one I went with. And another reason I decided to make this was because I did have Beast Boy that was pretty close to Teen Titans. So, why the heck not? So yeah, it's made from the DC Universe Classic Cyborg, which is surprisingly the only one that they made as far as I know. And most of it was mostly a, um, most of the figure was just a repaint, but there are bits and pieces that um, I didn't modify, so let's start with the head. I can't hit, I'm not sure how to do this. If you can see, I'm not sure if you can. Um, I did re-sculpt the head just a little bit. You can see that um, for the Teen Titans version, he doesn't he doesn't really have hair. He's mostly pretty well shaved. So that's why I decided to do for this one. I was like debating with myself whether or not I wanted to keep the hair or not, but I decided to make him completely shaved, but I did keep that eye that he has. That was really well painted. And then I made his um, red eye over there. Let me zoom out. So yeah, I painted the red eye and painted the, the most of his um, cybernetic half um, a metallic blue. And I'd say it looks really cool. And then there was like a little piece of the ear <laughs> here so I cut that off and that's all I really did with the head um for the main body again it is mostly a repaint mostly with the shoulders like with the shoulders I was debating whether or not I mm, sorry <laughs> whether or not I should um, make those like shoulder pads or just paint them on but I just decided to paint them on and again they do look pretty well and for the little bolts there, those are made out of beads. Work pretty well. For the torso, um, I just sculpted over the chest. So you didn't really see the musculature and made the little bits and pieces of his design and painted those. It's mostly just white and silver, but I did keep the um, I didn't sculpt down here if you can see the difference because that was pretty well and it was silver so why not then I painted the the little black parts there let's go to the back still looks pretty good um, 
Now, <laughs> sorry. Now in the Teen Titans version, he doesn't have a belt, but since I didn't want to go through the entire process of sculpt, like re-sculpting that part of the waist because I had to remove the belt, I just decided to keep it. It still looks pretty good. And one more thing I should probably mention about the arms is that they did have the little, yeah, here we go. They did have the little bands here, but I did um, dremel those off, so there's that. Um, I painted the legs black, metallic blue. I'm doing this with one hand. I have other stuff over here. So yeah, I did that. Um, I kept the knee knee pads. Then I sculpted the little um, shin shin armor. We'll call it shin armor. And painted that white. And if you can see, he does have a little bit of blue on there. And if you're wondering what that is, it's actually colored hot glue. It's pretty cool, actually. And then for the feet, it's just that little bit painted. There's the back. And again, I really like how this came out. Um, I'm probably going to put some pictures up here somewhere. But um, when I do, you can see what um, pictures I used. For this design. So on action, his move can fit, his head can move side to side, pretty much all around. And it can go a little bit up and down. His arms can go out that far. But for this side, especially, there is paint chipping, but um you kinda expect that to happen since the joints right there. He has a bicep swivel. Oh, another thing. Arms can go all the way around. So yeah, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow. It's not as good, but there is a lot of armor, so expected it. Now, um, if you have this figure, you know like you're able to switch out the hands. So for this one, you're you can pull it out if I don't break it yeah you can pull it out and there's the peg so with this arm it's the wrist is ah, all the way up here and for this one the wrist is all the way down here so there's that <laughs> I know it's supposed to be for like weapons he comes with but since I bought mine loose I didn't get those doesn't bother me too much. He has a ab crunch that can go that far forward. And that far back. Pretty well, actually. He has a waist swivel. It's kind of tight. The legs can go out that far. So legs can go that far forward. A little thing go back a little bit. He has a thigh swivel. Single jointed elbow. And the foot hinge. So yeah, the articulations on him pretty the articulation on him is pretty good. And like I said, I really like how this came out. Um, I'd say it's probably one of the best superhero cousins I did and speaking of that let's get into a little bit of a comparison because with that I should tell you that I am probably gonna do another custom update video where it's mostly gonna be superheroes that um, I used to have well I wouldn't say used to have I just mo I just updated them a little bit so they can fit in better they can look a lot better so yeah most of these guys are Marvel so if you can see there's Nope, you're not going to stand. Hold on. There's Spider-Gwen. There's Spider-Man. You can see that. Yep. Here we go. So there's those two. There's Miles Morales.
there's Gwenpool, and for his best friend ever, there we go, there's Beast Boy. And I say that he fits in pretty well, I would say that he definitely needs to be a lot taller than Spider-Man, but it doesn't bother me too much, I still like how well he fits in. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, since I'm finally back to customizing, I have a temporary setup, so I'll be able to do a few more stuff in customs. I've, I'll probably have another video out tomorrow, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.